Great. And here comes a couple players right here. And that's Pell Larson. And if I could just see Ben Matherin, there's Kirk Kreese and Justin Kyer. So we're going to go up here and, and talk to uh, some players. So here I am with uh, Justin Kyer. Justin, we're actually live here on the CW. And okay. uh, yeah, it's Cake on Nine Sister Station, the ABC station, and the yep. CW here in Tucson. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay, uh, your thoughts on, on earning the number one seed and, and playing a team in the play in game. Uh, Brian against Wright State. How much are you going to be watching that game uh, tomorrow night? We're going to do what we've been doing all year. Um, we're going to continue to scout and film. Um, I actually have a former teammate on the Bryant team, so um, I'm kind of rooting for them to, to win so we can end up playing them. Uh, now, which player is that? Greg Kalix. Now, is that from when you were with uh, George Georgia Mason. or George Mason? So it's a couple of stops ago. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, we were actually FaceTiming during the selection show because uh, that was just pretty cool to see. You know, we are our first times being uh, in March Madness, so it would be awesome to face off as well. So, um, go ahead. But, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to continue to do what we do, you know, scout film uh, for both teams. Um, we're definitely going to watch the game and be tuned into that and then, uh, you know, get back to work. You know, what's the mood of this team right now? I'm sure you've put the, the Pac-12 tournament, you know, behind you. You celebrated that and are mm -hmm. ready for business. Tell me about the mood and the mindset of this team right now as you get ready to go to San Diego. Um, our mindset is is, is one to know, you know, one game at a time. Um, we're not going to look ahead at who we could see or, you know, the, these games, the mature teams look at it as we got one game to go, you know, one game each time um, and execute that one and then we'll move on from there. But uh, the the bad thing to do with uh, at this time is to look ahead um, because, you know, you got to focus on what, what's in the present. You got to focus on what you're doing uh, the next time you play. Um, so that's what we're focused on right now. We're just kind of locked in on who we need to uh, uh, be locked in on, and, and then uh, we'll continue to get better on the court as well, um, and then head out to San Diego tomorrow um, and continue to prep. You told everybody what the conversation was like with Kirk Reese before the game when you were you know, filling in for him in the starting lineup. What did he say to you after the performance that you guys won the Pac-12 tournament? Um, he was just proud of me. You know, He, he knew um, I was going to get it done. Um, and that's that's just an amazing feeling to know your teammates uh, got confidence in you, um, and and they trust me. You know they trusted me, and um, coach trusted me, and he he didn't ask me to do anything extra. You know he just wanted me to go out there and be who I am. Um, I wasn't going to go out there and be Kerr or try to be like Kerr. I was going to go out there and be Justin, um, and that's what I did. And um, you know obviously that that last game got into some foul trouble, and Dalen stepped up, um, and Dalen stepped up and ran that point guard spot. Um, so we got a bunch of guys who just don't want to go home. Um, and, and we're going to continue to do that um, until we, we get what we want. And for you, you talked about how this is why you came to Arizona for moments like this. Is this gratifying to be in this spot after you know, a long collegiate career that you've had? Absolutely. Um, it's a dream come true just because um, this is what I've dreamed since I was a little kid in the backyard, you know, in Grotto's Virginia, just, you know, watching Steph Curry, you know, do what he does in NCAA tournament and stuff like that. Um, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. Um, haven't been able to get that chance. So now being here, um, I just feel like I belong. You know, I feel like I belong. I feel like this has been my moment. And, and um, glory to God that that um, I've gotten to this place. And, you know, we've just execute, executed all year. And uh, we're going to continue to try to do that until we bring the national championship home. All right, Justin Kyer, thanks for a couple of minutes here live on the CW. Thank Appreciate you, that. Again, I'm Jason Barr here. We're on uh, CW Tucson and KGUN 9 streaming platforms. We're talking to the Arizona men's basketball players as they get ready to leave for San Diego to play in their first round NCAA tournament game. That game is going to be on Friday. Let's try to find another player. It looks like we have uh, Azulis Tabellis right here. Focused every game and with just one game. And uh, I know I think Kerr might be able to come back. So just looking forward to it. How big do you think that is, like Kerr coming back, you know, after not having him for two games? How big do you think, you know, him adding him back to, you know, on the court? How, how do you think that will work? Oh, I think it will work good because I know Kerr and I know uh, how he thinks and. Uh, how much uh, a fighter he is, so I think uh, will be good. What did it do for the confidence of this team, knowing that if one player is out, you guys can still rally and, and play and come up with a big win like you guys did in the Pac-12 tournament? Yeah, so our team is, uh, we have a lot of uh, good players and uh, we're not playing selfish, so I think uh, that thing makes our team uh, 
so special. So I know we just uh, stick together and uh, be focused uh, every game and just just fight. What's the mindset? You guys are playing a play-in game. You're one of the few teams who actually don't know who you're going to be playing, but certainly you're going to be heavily favored against either Brian or Wright State. What's the mindset of this team right now? Oh, the mindset is uh, is the same like before uh, every Pac-12 game or uh, or before the tournament. We just need to win this game. We will uh, we will we will look at the scout. We'll uh, we'll practice today and we'll kind of look uh, look. Look uh, how they play, and, and we'll see. I mean, we just need to win uh, one game, and then if we win this game, we need to win another game because if you lose, you're going home. So that's kind of that's it. Uh, Kerr shared some pictures of his ankle on social media. I don't know if you've seen any of yeah. those. How did it compare to your ankle? Oh, I mean, do you ever? I, uh, supposedly yours was worse, right? I yeah. Think. My ankle was worse, but. Uh, I twisted my ankles uh, so many times that uh, it doesn't it doesn't even uh, swallow, you know. So I mean, he twisted. I think it was his first time twisting uh, that hard. So you know, it it uh, reacted real fast, you know. So you guys have had a real special front court with uh, Umar Balo and Christian Coloco and yourself. How do the three of you complement each other on the court? Would you say? Oh, we keep. We keep saying uh, good words and just just keep going. Uh, no one can stop you, you know, and uh, and that kind of stuff. But uh, we work hard in practices. We're going 100 uh, percent, and uh, we beat it. We beat each other at practices. So I mean, we prepared. We 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 always prepared for the for the other team bigs and. We're trying to do our best. But what about your styles, though? You know, Coloco's a terrific shot blocker. Umar is a, a, a fantastic uh, presence in the middle, and you've got addition to finesse and some power. How about the way your styles complement each other, or go together? Yeah. So, Silo is, uh, I think, is the best defensive big uh, in the country, but uh, no one really sees that and. Uh, it's awesome feeling to play with him because if you if you mess up on defense, he can he can cover you, you know. But uh, for me, me too. I think I'm doing uh, a lot of uh, dirty work uh, inside that no one sees, but it helps uh, my team to score, you know. Umar, he's just big, strong. Uh, I think no one can stop him uh, inside the paint. So. Are you feeling the buzz in Tucson? You know, March Madness is here. The men's team, you guys have earned a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Are you feeling the buzz around town of March Madness? Yeah, a lot of fans uh, comes to me now. Not like uh, before the season, no one cared about us and stuff. But now we have a lot of a lot of attention. They cared, but you you've made real believers though. I, I know they care more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. Uh, yeah, maybe sometimes it's too much attention. Maybe it's like, uh, oh my gosh, he's coming, you know, to me, you know. But uh, yeah, we just we're still not that, uh, you know, uh, excited because we have a game now and we need to we need to forget all the all the championships and, and stuff. We just need to focus on our uh, game and just win this. Win that game. Azulis Tabellas, thank you so much for a couple of minutes and good luck in your game on Friday night. All right, that's Azulis Tabellas, one of the Wildcats starters. And uh, let me just look around the room. Let's see who we're going to go talk to next. I see Benedict Matherin over there. He's the Pac 12 Player of the Year. Just about everything. Everything he does uh, in general is, um, is pretty good. You know, is. Give me your best impression of Uncle Tim. Sorry, say it again? Give me your best impression of Uncle Tim. I'm not really good with impressions, but uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't. I can't really do it. Ben, you, by the way, we're live here on CW Tucson. It's the Kega Nine Sister Station. Thank you so much for a couple of minutes here. I'm Jason Barr, uh, Benedict Matherin, Pac-12 Player of the Year. How has Tommy Lloyd gotten so much improvement out of every player this year? What's been his secret sauce? Um, you know, Tommy Lloyd is more uh, 
he's a player's coach. You know, he was an assistant coach at um, uh, Gonzaga for more than 20 years. So he's, he's been able to connect with players uh, before coaching them. So I just say it's about him trusting us and him being able to listen to us and, uh, you know, say, tell, telling him how we feel about the game and on the court and uh, being able to connect. You're someone who, who said you don't have to do that much because you've got so many talented players around, but sometimes as the top player, you do need to step it up and score. We saw a little of that in the Pac-12 tournament title game. How do you know when to turn it up individually, and, and how do you know when to uh, get more teammates involved? You know, sometimes teams face, face guard me, obviously. I um, um, just feel like now it's, it's the time for my teammates, you know, to um, take advantage of it. They're playing 4-on-4, four and, four and uh, you know, we have – Pretty good bigs, you know, one of the best bigs in the country, and um, pretty good point guards and wings. So it's just just about it's just about taking advantage of it, and um, you know, when my team need, need, needs me the most, I just be I just be there and available. All right, we're going to talk to Kirk Creesa in a little bit here. What do you know about his ankle and and, and where he is in his recovery? Oh, I just know he's getting better better every day. You know, I I, get, I, I stay in touch with him uh, every day, see how his ankle be doing, and. Uh, his ankles it seems to be improving every day. What's the mindset of the team right now? Have you guys been able to, you know, put the Pac-12 tournament win behind you? I know you've got a whole other tournament uh, going ahead. What, what's the mindset here as you guys are, are going to San Diego for the tourney? Yeah, uh, definitely. You know, uh, we won the Pac-12 tournament and it's been fun. But now it's you know back to reality. Going to be back in the gym today and um, you know practice like you know like we really want to win national championship because um, that's the next mission. Will the team be watching the Wright State versus Bryant game together? Or how you guys are approaching that uh, play-in game? Can you say it one more time, please? Can you repeat it one more time? Yeah, yeah. Will the team be in, should I do it in French or English? I can speak a little bit of French. No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I remember when you said uh, ton rev. You're following your dreams here when you said that. Uh, will the team be watching the Wright State Bryant game together as a team or are you guys just uh, going to be doing that individually uh, as far as the play-in game? I'll probably, probably watch it as a team. You know, we're, we're doing pretty much everything as a team, so I'll say watch it as a team. All right, thanks so much for a couple minutes here live on the CW Tucson. Benedict Matherin, good luck to you uh, in the game Friday. Thank you. All right, I'm Jason Barr here. We're live on the CW Tucson and KGUN 9 uh, streaming channels. We're talking to some Arizona basketball players here as they get ready to play in the NCAA tournament. A little media in availability inside McHale Center. Let me just take a look around and see who's uh, available. I'll tell you what, we've been wanting to hear from Kirk Creasa, right? We want to know how his ankle is. Let's go talk to Kirk Creasa. Extra motivation and uh, yeah. how is your ankle doing? Better than ever. Are you able to say what your availability is, or is it a game time decision? Uh, I apologize if you've answered this before. We're just kind of getting here. What's yeah. the latest? Uh, the latest is that uh, I just came from rehab, uh, four hour rehab in the morning, and I'm working on it. Uh, 24-7 uh, and uh, I'm doing my best that I can play and uh, hopefully my body will say that I can play. Have you had a sprain like that before? No, I've never had that kind of a bad sprain in my life, yeah. Okay. yeah. How tough was this mentally? I mean, you've been playing all year and then to get hurt in the Pac-12 tournament, it, you know, that's got to be tough on you mentally, but, but to know it's not season ending is definitely, uh, you know, uh, certainly not the worst case outcome that it could have been. Yeah, 100%. Uh, once it happened, I was scared that it's over. Uh, because since I never had that bad of a sprain, I felt like my, my leg was completely different direction and I was scared to look down. My face went completely uh, white from my face. So I was, uh, I was really scared, but uh, we went straight after to take x-rays and like when, when, I, when I found out that nothing was breaking and, uh, and J-Rock told me that, yeah, like we just got to work on it, you will play it. And, you know, happy tears came out of my, my face. So it was a good moment. What did you think of the way that Dalen Terry and Justin Kyer played in the extra minutes with you gone and how they stepped up in the Pac-12 tournament? No, they were huge. I mean, uh, obviously Justin has a lot of experience. He's been in college for 10 years now, so he knows how to you know how to bring the experience and leadership to the team and DT was just incredible like um, he was he was uh, really big for us yeah what do you think when you see all those fans wearing headbands in the stands yeah that was uh, that was big that was uh, you know I didn't obviously expect that uh, uh, that was something uh, really special and uh, I will never forget this uh, rest of my life 
How much fun do you have talking to the opponents, talking to your team on the court? Dylan Terry says you guys are the ones that kind of do that and have fun. Yeah, I mean, this gets us going. Uh, when DT is talking trash to to the other team, then you know that, all right, we're locked in now. Like, yeah. This is it. Like, yeah, it's yeah. go time. So uh, it sets the tone for the team. It sets the tone for us. Uh, and we really need that. What about you? The fans don't like you. The other, other fans don't like you. You can give a crap, it sounds like. I mean... If if I would give a crap, then I'd probably be in uh, in a hospital with my <laughs> mental issues right now. So uh, yeah, I don't really give. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Do, yeah. do you not care, or do you thrive off that, knowing that some of the fans are a little against you sometimes? I don't thrive, but it's you know, it's whatever. I play for U of A. That's my school. Uh, th this will be always my school. Uh, I'd rather go back to Europe than transfer to some other school. So. Uh, I just love to be here, and what matters is uh, how I'm uh, how I'm here and uh, how my fans love uh, me here. Speaking of Europe, you know, obviously the Ukraine situation. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? I mean, there's a lot of international guys on this team. But... Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's uh, it's ridiculous to be honest. Uh, it's pretty sad, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I mean. Uh, hopefully we all think the same way here, so there's nothing much to really add there. We all know it's it's uh, unbelievable what's going on right now, and uh, the crazy part is that you don't know what's happening next, and uh, Estonia is right by Russia, so, you know, people are obviously scared, and, you know, it, it's it's bad. Have you, talked to, have you talked to your family at all? Yeah. Uh, luckily, my mom is coming out here uh, on Thursday to watch to watch us play, and uh, I can be, spend time with her. Who does the best Tommy Lloyd impression? The, uh, I mean, man, uh, probably DT. Okay. I say DT. Yeah. I hear you have a good one. Okay. It sounds like they're wrapping up here. I just heard somebody from the U of A say last question. Uh, I'm Jason Barr here on the CW. We're streaming live at University of Arizona men's basketball availability. And uh, I guess we'll try to get a little bit more in before we get a wrap here. So I see Christian Coloco over here. And let's go talk to the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year and Most Improved Player. Yeah, you always going to have somebody behind you just to protect the basket or help you. And even me, sometimes when I'm on the perimeter and I get beat, I know Umar is behind me, man. I'm confident, like, yeah, they're Thanks, going. Christian. Good luck to see you. So, appreciate it. Christian, hi, I'm Jason Barr. We're actually live here on the CW Tucson. Thanks for a couple of minutes here. You're the Pac-12 most improved player. How has Tommy Lloyd gotten so much improvement out of so many players this year? Oh, uh, I mean, he's just a player coach, you know. He just gets us uh, confidence. Confidence, you know, every time we play, like, you you can make mistakes. He's not going to get mad at you for making mistakes. And, and he wants you to make mistakes. And even when you make mistakes, he's going to be like, next play. You just got next play. And I think that's what he really brought here. And also... Uh, uh, just, just our work ethic. Our work ethic is, is, uh, is different this year. We just uh, always working after practice, before practice, and you can see the guys uh, like we want to win games, and that's amazing. Do you get the sense that other teams sometimes will try to get you into foul trouble, and how do you counter that? Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, I, I'll be learning from it. You know, I just, gotta, I just gotta be smart because sometimes I just get, I just get some. I'm gonna say stupid foul. So sometimes I just gotta just be smart because, like coach always tell me, like uh, uh, my team need me on the court, and when I'm in foul trouble, uh, the team is in, in trouble basically. So I'm just trying to be uh, a little bit smarter, and I think in this tournament I did a pretty good job being smart, and we won. So pretty good. Okay, thank you so much for a couple minutes, Christian Coloco. Good luck on Friday. I just kind of got a wrap uh, from uh, from the U of A, so I think we're wrapping up here, and I'm going to send it back to to Pat. But again, uh, we've been here live at McHale Center on the CW, as well as KGUD 9 streaming platforms. I'm Jason Barr. We're talking Arizona basketball. I'm actually on my way to San Diego. I'm going to go tomorrow, and we're going to have live reports on KGUD 9 uh, beginning on Thursday as we cover the Arizona men's basketball team. And also, I should mention the Arizona women's team. They're going to be playing here on Saturday against U. UNLV, uh, the Wildcat men, we're going to play the winner of uh, Bryant and Wright State. Their game is going to be Friday in San Diego. All right. So I'll wrap up here uh, live at McHale Center where we've been talking to the Arizona men's basketball team. I'm Jason Barr, and we're going to go back now to Pat Paris at the K-Gun 9 Studios. Pat. All right, Jason, terrific job. And don't forget, K-Gun 9 Arizona men's and women's basketball special All In is streaming right now on demand on the K-Gun 9 channel on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and more. It's all part of our March Madness coverage as we get set for the Arizona men and women and their roads to the Final Four.